Donnelly here, and I'm going to be showing you my latest purchase, which is a clamp which goes attaches to a guitar where I can attach a cell phone, and I want to use it as a camera so I can take an angle where I, I can show playing the frets for some of my uh, upcoming videos that I'm planning. The one I bought was actually the cheapest one I found on Amazon under the Kali Daka name. There are others that look to be exactly the same thing. I can't say for sure if they are. This one's supposed to have a 360 degree swivel head. Now, another reason that people buy these is to watch a video while they're uh, working on uh, learning the guitar. So I'm gonna try it with both ways and see if it's, see how practical that is. I thought about getting a GoPro and uh, to me that just seemed like a lot of money just to be able to stick on the end of my guitar. So this seemed like a really inexpensive solution. So hopefully this is gonna go well and I'm gonna be able to give you some examples how this works. The one concern that I do have is that some reviews say that it's heavy. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna open the package here. It just landed on my doorstep uh, this afternoon. Let's take a look and see what we've got. So here's the box. Let's open this up and uh, maybe somebody got this before and, and they'd send it back, I don't know. Um, it could have been opened before. Let's just check this. So, all right, so that's, if I were to put this on the iPhone 7, it seems to be holding pretty well. Now let's take a look at the clamp itself. Uh, the clamp itself is made out of metal. It's a good strong clamp. Yeah, it's got a good spring in there. And let's have a look at this swivel part. So this is a, this is the swivel. It's got a screw there that looks like it's, it can lock this in position. And this also has, has a screw, which I guess would fit uh, onto a camera. Although I don't think I'm going to be putting a camera on the end of this. This looks like it just screws on here. So we'll put that on there. And let's give this a shot. I can loosen this and swivel it around. And let's put the phone on. Okay, it looks fine to me. Uh, I can loosen that up and swivel it around to whichever direction I want. All right, so now I'm going to try it on the guitar. Let's let's see how it let's see how it goes. So I've run into the first obstacle. Here's a here I've got the cell phone attached to this clamp. Now if I attach this to a guitar and I try to do what I wanted to do, which was to to be able to have the camera angle so I can see down the fretboard, I find that it doesn't have enough range of motion because it it actually hits it hits on the clamp. Uh, there is a notch. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. There is a, a notch here where where you, you can kind of swivel that into that area, uh, which is fine if the you know the phone is pointing over there or I want to point this over here. But if I want to look down the, the length of the guitar, I don't think this is going to work. Another issue here is that it has this nut here, which you use to tighten the swivel joint. This actually hits. So the, the, the nut is actually too big to be able to turn it. So that's another, another issue there. Since yesterday, I found a few things about this cell phone mount that I didn't realize. The first thing is when I was looking at this, uh, the cell phone holder, which goes like this on the phone. I mounted this using the mount on the bottom, which is a screw in there. But I didn't realize that there's also a mount there, which would make quite a difference when, when you're putting this onto a guitar, because that would mean that this will be raised up a little bit higher. So that's probably why I was having difficulty. Now, if you have this in this position, then it's going to be much more easy to, to swivel this so that you can view the screen. So I wanna correct that one thing. Uh, the other issue about this being heavy, yes it is. And certainly if I had a heavier phone than this iPhone 7, then that might be more of an issue. Right now, um, I'm just not seeing this working for what I, I originally intended. Let's see if there's something I can do. Okay, now, I was not expecting to do such a big project like this. I took this part that, that holds the uh, the swivel part and um, you know I made a an L-shaped bracket and I attached 
attach this on here so that what I've got now is it's a pretty rigid extension so that I can put the cell phone like this and it actually works pretty good. And let me just show you, I'm going to put this on here right now on this classical guitar actually gives a pretty good view. I'm, I'm going to record this and so you can actually see it. If I play something on this uh, guitar, the thing is this has become not only a uh, little bit heavier, but you've also got this other force now, which is trying to pull the guitar in this direction. So I want to see if I can attach something to the other side of the guitar to compensate for that. That's for another day. So let me just see if I can play something. I'm going to record this right now. That's recording. And the interesting thing is, it's not only the left hand, but I can see the right hand too. So I, I like this. I like this idea. Just to mention something about the quality of these components. The clamp is good. This part, swivel part, is not the greatest. Um, you know, how long it's going to last, I don't know. Now, if you're actually going to use this to watch a video, this is very nice to look at right here because you're actually looking at the screen. I have seen some some of these that have some kind of a gooseneck that you can move around. If those are reliable and, and they don't they don't wobble all over the place, then perhaps those that's the way to go. Hope this has been informative if you're thinking about buying one of these things. For me to make this, did I really spend a, a waste a lot of time? I don't think so actually, because what I can do with this gadget that I made, this bracket, um, it's going to allow me to be able to view with the camera uh, higher up off the guitar, which which does give a better vantage point. Now, if I try to attach this to my main acoustic guitar, it doesn't actually have a whole lot of space after the machines over here. So when you put this on here, it's it's only got about half an inch. I don't think this is going to be quite as stable as if you have some headstocks have have quite a, a long area after the machine. So so that's something to bear in mind if your guitar is like that. Now one more thing I'd like to say is that this channel is heading towards 3000 subscribers. I do appreciate everybody who subscribed and if you didn't subscribe already, then I encourage you to do so. If you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, you'll be notified when I put out a new video. That's it from me this time. And uh, as I always say, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon.